So, Tom, this has been quite <clears throat> uncomfortable for a lot of people to watch, to see this exchange between Trudeau and the Chinese President Xi Jinping at the G20 summit. People saying, you know, President Xi was scolding our prime minister. Uh, how did you interpret the exchange between them? Uh, what was your reaction? Well, you know, Lois, sometimes there's a bit of doubt as to what actually happens in that sort of meeting because, of course, Mr. Trudeau and his team spun that he, during the Tuesday meeting, the first one, had talked very directly to President Xi, talking about Chinese interference in Canada's internal affairs, whether it be elections, there's enough evidence of that, or whether it be other issues, we're trying to tell the Chinese Canada is not going to accept or tolerate interference. Now, there could have been some doubt as to what exactly was said, but any doubt was removed the next day, Wednesday, when it was President Xi himself who reacted again with Trudeau saying, well, you're, you're responsible for creating conditions where it's difficult to have these conversations. You went and spilled the beans to the media. And what President Xi doesn't really understand is that in a democracy, uh, access to the press, free, open media, is part of our democracy. It's a democratic right, freedom of the press. Of course, that doesn't exist in China because it is not a democracy. And President Xi is anything but a democratic leader. He is the total dictator of a, ch a country of 1.5 billion people. They have accomplished amazing things over the past several decades, but certainly democracy is not one of them. So who was scolding whom? I would say that it was President Xi who was trying to tell Mr. Trudeau you know, what is this idea of talking to a free press? What do you think this is? And Trudeau, I think, stood his ground and deserves to be congratulated for taking such a strong stance. Today's reaction in China, which talks about a condescending manner, simply speaks to the fact that President Xi is considered above everybody else, everywhere. And no one is allowed to even answer him in any way, shape, or form. So then, how, how do you interpret this exchange in terms of the way China views Canada and what could that mean for the future of the relations between both nations? Well, I think that Canada has to be very modest in, about who we are and what type of player we are on the world stage. Yes, we're a G7 country, but we're sort of at the tail end of who makes it into the G7. I think that Mr. Trudeau made a very good play early on when he became prime minister. He's now in his eighth year, but at the beginning, he had a very successful trip to China. But then he had a follow-up trip when he was going to try to talk about establishing a more open trade relationship. He was actually talking about a, an eventual free trade agreement. And that was not only shut down by the Chinese, it was rudely shut down. And you might recall at the time, Chinese security officials were actually pushing Canadian journalists, and it was a very rough moment. It was not a success whatsoever. And I think it was their way of saying, well, we don't like the criticism of human rights issues in China, and you're not going to be a playing, uh, you're, we're not going to play with you, we're not going to be partners with you uh, on this notion of a trade deal. It is all right to question Chinese the, the Chinese government's record with regard to the Uyghur Muslim minority, with regard to issues of human rights and freedom of speech. These are open issues that the world gets to talk about. And if you're on the wrong side of history, as China is right now, with regard to these issues, and we're seeing that the strongman approach, whether it's Putin or Bolsonaro or others, is starting to fail. And I think that she understands that there will be increasing pressure in his own country for more freedom and less surveillance of every single citizen. And I think that that's what's got them worried. Okay, CTV News political commentator and former NDP leader Tom Mulcair on this. Thank you, as always. Good to be with you, Lois.